Hi there, and let's get to it. Today we're looking at two very similar concepts in DaVinci Resolve, compound clips and nested timelines. This is a pretty standard feature for NLEs, and what it does is it enables you to select a group of clips inside of your timeline and to unify them into a single piece of media. Usually you still have the option of entering this grouped media and making further changes to the clips as individuals, but externally the grouped media will be treated like a self-contained clip. The way it's performed is very simple. You select all of the media that you'd like to compound. You right click on any of the clips and go to the top and select new compound clip. You'll be prompted to give it a name and if you've heard my rant about good housekeeping, you will. You also have the option of combining all of your audio tracks into a single adaptive track. And as soon as I click OK, you can see that the clip now appears to be one video and just one audio track as opposed to the two that we had before. I have an icon in the bottom left corner of both the video and audio indicating that this is a compound clip. And if I was to scroll through, you'll see that the cuts are still occurring inside this one clip. Now, this doesn't imply that you've permanently committed this series of media to this single compound clip. You can still right-click on it, select Open in Timeline, and continue working on your edit, which is really neat because if there's any sort of mismatch or if the edit wasn't to your liking, you can always come back to it. To get out of the compound and back to the general timeline, you just have to look in the bottom left corner of your timeline panel and click up the hierarchy. And now I'm back out here. I can quickly demonstrate that if I select this clip and if I do something dramatic, like flipping it upside down, if I scroll through the rest of this edit, you'll see that all of the clips are now upside down. Likewise, if I go into the color page and I apply some sort of grade, and then if I go back into the edit page, you can see that that grade has now applied itself to the rest of my timeline. You can always choose to change your mind and remove the compound by right-clicking and choosing Decompose in Place. You can see that because the compound feature has been removed, all of the settings and grades that I'd apply to it have also been deleted. If you check the media pool, you'll notice that Decomposing does not remove the compound clip, and if I wanted to, I could still grab the compound and drop it into my timeline. Nested timelines work on a very similar basis. I can make a new timeline, and I'll leave it as timeline 2 just to demonstrate what it's going to look like. And I can simply click and drag my first timeline into it. So even the symbol looks similar to compound clips, and again it gets treated like a single piece of media. And I can also right click it and choose to open this timeline within my timeline. Notice, however, that I no longer have this hierarchy that I had in the bottom left corner, so it's not as easy to switch between the two. Additionally, if I go into the color page and try to apply a grade, it will not affect the nested timeline. When we also start looking at keyframing and animation controls inside of clips, you'll see that nested timelines are also incapable of being animated like compound clips. So essentially, there's not really any benefits to nested timelines over compound clips. I think the reason nesting got included in DaVinci is because so many people are used to using that workflow inside of other editing programs. So I'd recommend that instead of drag and dropping timelines into other timelines, you instead get into the habit of selecting clips, right clicking them and generating compound clips out of those. I hope you found that helpful and until next time.